Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. It's Carl's again, and we're back with another video with another glorious background. Don't you love me jumping around everywhere? <laughs> BoxyCharm. If you didn't know, BoxyCharm is a beauty subscription service that happens um, depending on what subscription you have. I get it monthly because I have the base box because we ain't doing too much around here. They also have like a premium box and a luxe box. I think the premium box, you just get more products. And then the luxe box, it's kind of like Fab Fit fun style where it like comes not as often but it's more expensive um i like my box i've had it for the past i think three or so years the price only went up once so i would say if you are interested after this video to just get it while you can because i feel like subscriptions are always increasing in price um but yeah i really like it i was introduced to boxy charm by my homie cat shout out to you cat back in the day putting me on um but i like it a lot i'm not i'm a pretty frugal person but i will say that boxycharm has been pretty beneficial to my skincare and makeup and just kind of like random home essential life um especially i'm a skincare junkie i like to get those pricier products i don't like to pay for them but with this box i'm paying 25 dollars a month which is basically like getting one thing in this box usually surpasses the value of the box if that makes any sense um so i would definitely recommend and not like um what is it called ipsy or other subscription boxes they're full-size products you're not getting a little tiny thing like i don't know it's so annoying when like you wow okay so my lighting went out and i'm back it's so annoying when like you get interested in a product and then you barely have any of it to use and it's like okay like this is cool i like this product now but i don't know if i'm ready to go out and buy that product so i like boxycharm because all the items are full size products and you can literally get used to using these products to see if you really like them and not just like a first sight oh i like this sort of moment no get to week three get to week four see if you still like it see if your skin still likes that cleanser you know what i mean um but without further ado i wanted to first unbox it with you guys and just give you my live reactions to the products that i got this month sometimes i absolutely love my box other times i'm appreciative of of my box but it's not overwhelming i will say every single time i can attest the three years that i've had boxy charm there's always been at least one product in the box that i loved maybe not the whole box but at least one product and like i said before it's a 25 dollars subscription so if you like one product in that box most likely you got your money's worth so without further ado here's the box um sometimes they are a different size depending on the products inside but it's a cute little size this time wait is this a thumbnail hold on did we get it anyways okay so first i got some scissors you guys might not see this part because my address is on this but i'm gonna just i know i should probably have a box cutter but your girl is still getting a whole bunch of stuff for this apartment that y'all have not seen. Um, so mind your business. I like it because it like opens up like this and it usually says, hello charmer. Like, yes, greet me and boom. Okay, so it usually comes with a card that just one describes the products that you receive but also two gives you the price breakdown and stuff like that also every time we get a boxy charm there's also a theme associated with the box that month being in october the theme this month is spellbound Ooh. spoopy 
not my forte, but it's cute, it's cute. Okay, so also I didn't mention before, when you sign up for BoxyCharm, um, you do a bunch of quizzes so they can sort of see what kind of products you would actually benefit from and enjoy using. Um, so basically when I first started, I wasn't really into makeup honestly i was more so doing it for the skincare so um a lot of my products are skincare heavy and just a dash of makeup um at one point i had so much skincare that i was like okay hold it back i don't have room for all this so my boxes were more makeup heavy and even a little bit of hair products and less skincare and right now i'm kind of at a happy medium of where i absolutely love skincare and i'm cool to try new products but i also want to try new makeup products going out there too especially because i'm not always in store um with our current pandemic situation trying out new makeup products so right off the bat i could already tell that it's a good medium of both um so the first product that i see which i'm so happy about because my current one is almost dried up and y'all can't tell from this angle but girl she dried up is a <laughs> liquid liner so this is a peels adhesive liquid liner oh wait a minute i just read that it's an adhesive liquid liner this makes me nervous so basically it's a liquid liner and a glue put in one it seems like a great idea i just don't know how effective that's gonna be so i'm excited to try this out to see how it actually works um especially with the finishes i know some liquid black liners are like super shiny and some are more on the matte side so i wonder if it's going to be too shiny or how that's going to play out but i'm excited to try this out so the description for this one was appeal cosmetics adhesive liquid liner this is the newest and most innovative way to apply your faux lashes step aside tubes of glue this ultra fine liner is easy to apply and a hot way to spice up any eye loop and they spelled look l-e-w-k um so this retails for 29 dollars by appeal cosmetics i think i've gotten a uh, i want to say a liquid lip from appeal cosmetics i don't think i've gotten anything like substantial from them and i don't remember what that lip was like so this could be a hit or miss so i'm excited to try this out that would pair perfectly with the second item in my box which i rarely get i i kid you not every time i take those surveys i'm like semi lashes semi lashes semi lashes and they never send me lashes but i got lashes these lashes are from if i'm butchering these names i'm sorry kamara on yeek beauty okay so they look like a cute like i would say like to me because i'd be wearing crazy lashes more of like a natural lash kind of wispy the descriptor says let's see here Kam kamara on week beauty M mary lash this is the most see i called it this is the most natural lash in the collection and is perfect for the woman who wants to keep it real with her beauty. It's a soft and light whisper lash that looks perfect on all eye shapes. I think it's funny that they said whisper lash. Should it be whisper lash or wispy lash? But anyways, I like the wispy lash because it usually looks good on my eye shape. I wonder how this actual style is gonna look on my eyes. I have extremely curly lashes, so some lash styles that are more straight based don't exactly blend well for me. So I'm excited to try this out. Okay, this is hit or miss because I feel like I have so many makeup palettes. I have so many makeup palettes, but I love trying new makeup palettes, especially if they have colors that I don't currently have in my collection. But this is 
the Ace Beauté's Falling For You palette. And it's so cute, especially in times of fall. Like, I do already have an Ace Beauté, I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. I do already have an Ace Beauté palette. It's not horrible, but it's not my favorite formula. So I'm not super ecstatic about getting this palette, but I am curious to see the color palette inside and to see how I can incorporate these for fall looks. Oh, I forgot to mention the lashes retail for $25. So right off the bat, the lashes alone are the price of the box. The liquid liner alone is the price of the box. Like. All you are, like are you guys getting like where I'm going with this like so <sighs> all my black girls let's sigh together this this is the palette okay hear me out hear me out hear me out Yes, I know that there are colors in there that will work for my skin, but there are also a lot of colors in here that appear to maybe not work for my skin. So I am excited to try it out. I'm not a big believer in like swatching because I don't know, my skin on my hand isn't like a true reflection of the skin on my face, but I haven't given up hope yet because the cranberry is cute, the, you know, the permit persimmon, the candy corn colors are cute, and the autumn and pumpkin pie, and even the pine cone are good like transition colors. Um, so I'm not giving up on this palette yet, but if you look at like, this guy, this guy, and these two shimmers. I don't know. So <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated on that. This is the Ace Beauté Fallen For You palette. This might be a cute gift, um, we'll see. But the palette does retail for $34.99. Once again, a product is above the price of the whole box, so. Next up, we have, oh, it looks like skincare. I love skincare. Okay, this is Tarte C Wink of H2O Vegan Collagen Eye Cream. And it looks like this. I don't know if it's gonna show up because it's like pretty light. Okay, so the description of this one says, like an espresso shot for your under eyes. A vegan skin loving eye cream that reduces the appearance of puffiness and dark circles for a refreshed youthful look. The weightless water-based formula gives a gifted, gives a lifted effect and is clinically proven to deliver 24 hour hydration. It helps sperm and fight signs of aging with Hydroflex technology and create a crease resistant base Wow, that is, that is a lot of claims. So basically what it's saying, it's like an eye cream that's gonna hydrate but also firm and also I can use it as an eye base prior to putting on makeup. That is a lot of claims. I love the packaging, I love the color, and I'm excited to try this out. Let me see what it looks like. I like that it comes with a seal on, I think skincare products that don't come with seals on make me nervous sometimes okay i'm gonna take the seal off Ooh, it doesn't really have a scent which i enjoy because i'm not like a huge scent person when it comes to skincare like i think less is more especially having sensitive skin less is more but it looks super Rothy. I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to dig my finger in there yet, but I'm excited to try this out. And eye creams are really expensive. Moisturizers in general are really expensive, so I'm not mad at getting this product in my box. So this one retails for $35. Once again, more than the actual box. 
And then the last product I got was TYNT Lash and Brow Duo. I like the packaging of this one too. So this one says, this duo solves the endless search for mascara and brow gel in the abyss of your makeup bag. It combines two products in one. The mascara is created with a smooth oil rich formula with strong color payoff, leaving lashes longer, naturally fuller looking and thicker without clump. The brow gel is fine and creamy with enough color to achieve natural hair like strokes of color for fuller and well-defined brows. <sighs> okay, so once again, this is saying a lot of claims. I, I don't know. I have very dark brows and the way this packaging is looking, this is the brow side and this is the mascara side. I don't know about you, but that doesn't look like my color. <laughs> um, I get nervous when I'm ever sent it's actually part of my quiz that I put like for like complexion products, like for my actual face, I elect to not get those for the most part because I know, especially for darker skinned people, especially like, you know, further melanated queens, they don't always get it right, you know? So um, usually I'm not super excited for like a brow or like a skin product, but I'm excited to try out the mascara. Maybe I can even try out the brow gel, you know, for the front of my brows or maybe like a different look. Um, but I'm not super excited about this either. This one is $29. So it's, I mean, it boggles my mind that like a lot of these products, people go into like a Sephora or Ulta or like the company's website and buy it for its full price. And I'm over here, you know, getting it for 25 bucks. Okay, wait, I, I like the packaging. It's like, I mean, y'all obviously can't tell, but it has like a weight to it and it, hold on, okay. So this is the lash side. I feel like that would be good for like my bottom lashes. I can't tell. Cause I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna do with my curly lashes. And okay, moment of truth, the brow side. Yeah, honey, that is not that is not my color. But you know what? I don't know where I was going with that. That is not my color. But I'm excited to try out the mascara side. And yeah, so that was my box. You usually get like, I wanna say you usually get five items. I don't think I've ever gotten less than five items. But as y'all saw, like, this is a good variety of products. This time around, this is probably like the most makeup I've ever gotten. Usually it's like a good medium of skincare and makeup, especially the past couple months, but I'm not mad at the makeup I got because I need to get new lashes anyway. And I'm excited to try out this liner to go with it. I actually needed to get a new eye cream. Um, and I think my last box, I got all skincare. So I was like, oh, um, but yeah, I've been a fan of BoxyCharm for a while, so if you're thinking about doing a beauty subscription box, I would highly recommend. This is not a sponsorship or anything like that. I'm just sharing a little bit more of my world. Um, let me know if you guys like this kind of video. I could do another one next month when I get my BoxyCharm or just other products that I pick up that, you know, I have an interest in or are excited to try out. Um, oh, and also for BoxyCharm, it's like mid-month. They have this thing where it's like choice is open. So for the BoxyCharm that I get, which is like the base box, you're allowed to choose one item from your box. This wasn't the case when I first signed up a couple years or two or three years ago, but probably the past year or so, this has been the case, which is really cool. So you have like basically like a two day window, but it's like first come first serve. You go into their website and you can choose 
out of like two or three products which one you for sure will get in your box knowing me i feel like it was probably the eye cream because i love skincare <laughs> um but yeah you get to choose and they're always different things it's not like you'll get the choice of like three different mascaras like you'll have like a mascara and eye cream and maybe like a cleanser or like a palette and a mini straightener like it's very random so that you don't feel like pulled like um by the option you make but yeah i would definitely recommend guys i'm i'm a fan of boxy charm uh, boxy charm if you're watching this you know what time it is no i'm kidding um but am i no um <laughs> but yeah this has been fun i appreciate you guys making it through the end of this video if you liked it go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you want to watch more videos from your girl go ahead and check out another one i got some pretty good ones on the you know the channel and we're only getting stronger um and if you really want to just stay tuned for what i have in store go ahead and subscribe to my channel we're constantly growing and evolving and i'm excited for what's next in store but Thanks guys, until next time.